Okay, guys, here we are. We're just seconds away from some stellar Star Wars content with Greco Fabulous and Darky. Hi! Yeah, the crew is back together, the Attic Invaders. Let's go see if this uh, this, this spaceship I, has some, some backdoor inventory I or something. I don't really like Star Wars. Can we do something else? Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this set of toy hunting videos, we document a trip two years in the making. Whoa! Watch as me and my fellow Attic Invaders, Narc and Greco, pick our way through bins of collectibles from Michigan to Texas. Is it rain in Belgium? Rain or shine, there's no adventure too daring to feed the plastic habit. Everything's gonna be fine. We hit up toy stores, conventions, flea markets, and everything in between, so strap in for some toy history along the way in Eddie Goes USA. What do you know? Oh. They got Star Wars here. Got a favorite Star Wars character, Greco? Um... <laughs> that guy. Nikto. The best man. I love this guy. <laughs> He's so funny. Greg, thanks yeah. for bringing us over here, man. Yeah, dude. This is, wow. <laughs> it looks it's, awful. <laughs> it's like it's like walking through the ages. Like, yeah, man. You got your 70s stuff, you got 90s, 80s, yeah, everything up to now. All new, all. Wow. Was it kind of more than you thought it was going to be? I didn't honestly. think it was going to be this big of a yeah. store. Yes, yeah, big. Wow. And like, they have almost everything, the like ranging from cereal to. Like, like weird merchandise over here you have like all the what is this power of the force like the mail away is just like with the mail away shipper how cool is that that's awesome wow well what, what do you think you've been here before but yeah. it's always impressive yeah it's, walk in. it is i mean it's like a, it's like a star wars museum honestly where it is but you can buy stuff wow. so <laughs> you know it's even more impressive how much you can lower your cholesterol by switching to honey nut cheerios Post how much whole grain can you have how much can you fit in this box? Come here and buy it and find out. Over here we got the, uh, the Dixie Cups. The beautiful artwork on there. This place right here, right behind us, that is the bee's knees, right? Yeah, that's oh. pretty nice, man. <laughs> First power of force mm -hmm. with, with the collector coins. Yeah. Some oh, last 17 goodies. Graded. Graded? Multiple. What? what? Man. Why don't they Check just this make out. more? Why does it have to be the last 17? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. So here you got some of the early bird certificate, like the early ones. You got some droids with some of that unreleased goodness. Uh, pictures popping up over here. These are very hard to come by, as well as uh, the, the vehicles for it. Then this is newer stuff. I'm not into that. But um, what do we got over there, Craig? Let me show you this picture right here. So we got a knife. But guess what? Another Ugnaught? He's graded in 80. He's graded in 80. Then we got Yoder over here. The Yoder? Yeah, Yoder right there. Your Leahy Goo. He's graded in 60. That's not so good. Yeah, there's a little tear on the thing, but that's, you know, okay. that's fine. And then, uh, who's that? That's, that's a pretty sweet figure. I always like that. Yeah, he's cool. Right yeah. I have him. I have that one. Not on the card or anything, but yeah. It's uh, Power of the Force. Power of the Force. There's more Power of the Force over here. Just crazy. Here with the coins. Nice. 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 Oh, on top. Obviously, you have some of the play sets. Dead Star. I, I don't see the, the Palatoid Dead Star around here, but they do have the Droid Factory. Yes. Indeed. So, yeah. I like that. Wow. That Yoda statue is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. The, the, um, I like it here. Oh my God, we walked into this store and I can't believe what I was seeing. So big, right. so I had to grab you. The store is buzzing. Thanks for allowing us a couple minutes Absolutely, of your time. Man. Absolutely. I just had to talk to you. Like, Rob, 
what what is like the the first time you got connected to Star Wars? When did you first find out about it? So it was actually um, my first movie was Empire Strikes Back. I was five years old. Um, it, I was I was actually adopted, and I was with my adopted family, and they were really the ones that introduced me to Star Wars and um, took me to the to the theater. And I kind of did it in reverse. I saw Empire Strikes Back. And then a new hope, and then Return of the Jedi. Oh, so I kind of got it out of the wrong order. But uh, at, at, at five and six and seven years old, I don't think it really mattered. Anyways, yeah. uh, I just enjoyed the the entire the entire idea and the spaceships and uh, you know the, the the drama of it and stuff. But yeah, I was I was really young. Um, but you were hooked right away. Oh, I was hooked right away. Like Star Wars toys, the only toys you ever got. Then, oh, or is no, no, it? No, no, no. You, no I'm when a, did you really start collecting? Them? So I collected basically from I would say probably about eleven okay. uh, is when I really got into it. Um, I was really big into the LJN, uh, a lot of the old Dungeons and Dragons oh, toys, okay. uh, uh, as well. It, Played Dungeons and Dragons as a kid and stuff, um, and GI Joe, 3.75 inch GI Joe, uh, Visionaries, He Man, the, everything. Uh, but you kind of just uh, put all your eggs in one basket and went for, hey, I'm gonna open up a store dedicated to Star Wars. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it, it, you know, and and from a from a business aspect, it wasn't just the love of Star Wars, but it was also, Star Wars isn't going anywhere. It's a franchise that's been around for 40 plus years, right? So from a business perspective, you know they're gonna keep making great films, you're gonna keep making great TV shows, and they're gonna keep putting out super cool toys. So why not open something that is gonna help support the community and help support that idea and keep, keep it going for years to come? You know, and, and, and focus on that one thing. It's, it's definitely a phenomenon. Like, once it hit, it came out. It yes. shook the toy industry. It shook the movie industry. It took, shook the merchandising yeah. industry. And you have everything like that over here. You got everything from the movies to uh, the, the soundtracks, obviously the toys and tons of merchandise, newer stuff. Right there in that right black there. is yeah. the 1977 4-track. The double reeled four track from 77 <laughs> that came out. So, I mean, you talk about, they, they weren't stopping. I mean, it, there was nothing that it wasn't limited to. I mean, they made Frisbees, footballs, they made kites, they made all kinds of stuff. And they knew exactly what they were doing when they did it. It's a, it's a great story and man, they're just continuing to spit out super cool stuff. I mean, look at it. Look at Andor. Did, did you have any hesitation in creating a toy store just dedicated to one toy line or one IP? Because, I mean, like, did you already know this is gonna attract enough people to come in and buy something? So in, in, in full transparency and full honesty, we had an idea that we knew about five years ago, almost six years ago now, how long has the store existed? We've been open for five years. Okay. Five years in January. We knew that they were going to continue to make at least movies. Disney didn't go in and buy Lucasfilm for three point whatever billion dollars just to turn around and sit on it and squash it. No, no. They, they knew exactly. They pretty much announced almost like a couple months later, there's gonna be TV shows, there's gonna be new movies. Exactly. So that was an indicator for you, okay boys, it's time to go. Right, right. So we knew that there was going to be a, a back presence, so to speak, to always support any new toy lines or anything else that was coming out. There were gonna be TV shows, they were gonna have action figures that were going to be behind those TV shows. So we knew we would always have product, regardless of whether it was vintage or modern, in order to support the store. And um, I mean, because that's one thing I'm, I would worry about inventory wise. I mean, you got it down here. <laughs> you got everything from, from the crazy last 17 ones to, you know, the droids yes. you never see and just anything from graded, vintage, vintage loose. Everybody who is into Star Wars can find something over here. Absolutely. How do you keep that up, like getting that inventory in? Obviously, the newer stuff, I guess it's pretty easy to get, but the vintage stuff, mm -hmm. that, that all comes down to respect. Yes, it's, it's, it's about treating people right, being honest and upfront, and sharing the passion 
with those people that come to you that are looking at possibly selling their memories and their childhood to you. And when you're upfront with those people and you build a rapport with them um, and you build that relationship with them and then those people respect and appreciate the fact that you were honest with them, they turn and they tell their friends. So we've kind of built this huge network of where we are constantly having people come to us and say, hey, listen, uh, Jane down the street said that, you know, she sold y'all her son's toys and uh, we're, we're looking at selling our toys. Would you be interested? And we go in and we handle each situation with the utmost respect, regardless of whether it's power of the force or vintage or whatever it is these are these are people's memories these are people's you know kids toys and stuff so um, in doing that we really have have set ourselves up for success moving forward <laughs>question I'm really wondering about, who's your favorite character in the Star Wars universe? Yoda. Yoda? Yeah. Yep. Yoda. <laughs> a lot of people go for Boba Fett or, you know, Luke or, or whoever. Um, but Yoda, I'd have to say, is, is really my favorite. I was a philosophy major. He is so inspiring and in his teachings, regardless of whether they're just on film, actually translate a lot over into life. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd have to say that, that I, I've actually, <laughs> my kids can attest to this, um, I've used a lot of his sayings just in both my work and uh, in raising my kids, you know, do or do not, there is no try, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and uh, I, I have a lot of respect for whoever uh, wrote his portion of the script yeah, because the ideology behind it has translated many generations and 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 rings very true mad mad props to <laughs> to whoever did that but it, it, it's awesome there's obviously too much stuff to do like a guided tour but is there maybe two or three items that are your favorites that are in the store right now yeah yeah you want to talk about absolutely so kind of crazy um this is, I was looking at yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Karatomi back in 78. Um, 20th Century Fox was licensed, or licensed to Karatomi in order to produce their own line of toys. And they had four backs instead of 12 backs. So they had the Stormtrooper, they had C-3PO, they had Darth Vader, and they had Chewbacca. Now, if you look on the card, it's actually labeled Stoom Trooper. S-T-O-O-M Trooper. Uh, it was kind of a, a misprint. It's kind of a joke within the community, but finding the four backs still on card is extremely hard. Uh, and at one point we had the Darth Vader. The offer that was made to us was too good to turn down. Because um, I see it's not for, for sale. sale this right. One. This um, is your own collection piece? No, 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 no. It's for the store? It, it was- it As was, like an eye popper, you know, bringing yes. people in to come and see it? Absolutely, wow. absolutely. Um, and, and we weren't really gonna sell it, but the guy came in and he was like- He needed it for his he, collection. Yes, and yeah. he, he did. He actually was the only one that he was still missing. And uh, he was like, I'm willing to pay this over. And we negotiated the deal and it worked out and he was extremely happy, so. Um, and I was, yeah. <laughs> I was happy to, you know, oblige him, and at the end of the day, that's kind of what it's about. Definitely. You know, uh, right. seeing people. Well, you know, people know now, like, yeah. if, if they need anything that they're really looking for, to come and check over here for Absolutely. Them, obviously. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Any other cool pieces like this? Um, I would have to say, I'm a big Kim Simmons fan. I don't know if you're familiar with Kim not, Simmons. Not entirely, so. But Kim Simmons did all of the photography oh, wow. back in the day for all of the toy lines. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be out at ICCC uh, both times that Kim's been out there. And the different droids photos along with some of the other photos, um, some of the unproduced yeah. stuff that he took pictures of. So these are pictures of actual prototypes that yeah. never got produced. 
Um, yeah, they, they were like an action figure digest. Yeah. Like, those are the guys that got some of those to actually like review them and then did, didn't end up coming out. Right. Yeah. So to have photos of those pieces and stuff, even though I can't, you know, own an actual mm -hmm. prototype that never got produced, it's they still sold cool. sold them off in the 90s, man. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, wow, I wish I would have known. <laughs> and, and what's the story for the, um, the kit bashing Boba Fetts that ended up in the landfill? How many... <laughs> How many of those are sitting at the bottom of the landfill too? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, who knows? Wow. Yeah. So um, it, these it, are the actual pictures. Yeah. And they're yes. signed. And they're signed and numbered oh, wow. um, by him. Um, for me, it's 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 a lot of the the oddities. It's it's a lot of the things that that you don't see every day. The weird things that a lot of people don't pay attention to, like the the blow up lightsaber. Okay. The very first lightsaber yeah, that came yeah. out that had the handle and you blew it up and it attached to the end and stuff like that. It's just, it's weird. Yeah, um, it's different weird. and you don't see it every day. The four track. Four track. Um, what makes that so special? Is it, it, it it's, a really low production run? It was or? a very low production run. They're extremely hard to get your hands on and this one's never been used. So it's still, it's like, Still has all the paperwork just sitting right up on top of it, all the inserts, everything. It's pristine. It, it's a reel that's never been played. There are actually two reels. There's two reels inside there. Yeah. Um, both for of the them four tracks. Soundtrack. Right for the complete soundtrack for the original movie. <laughs> so again, finding stuff like that is you don't come across that no, every day. No, no, indeed. indeed. But yeah, and and it, I mean we carry a lot of other stuff. But I like to point out the things that you don't yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't really think about that and like going into like right. oh that's just a box. No, it's the eight track. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course, real quick, I know you said one more. That is actually no, that's that is actually a original early bird certificate package. Oh, that's wow. not the, the redone one. No, no, that's the real deal, right? Yes. There. Wow. So where where there's a portion of the packaging that's been opened, it's never been removed. Oh yeah, yeah the yeah the stamp the pulled, yeah pulled out and it had little pegs for the footers for yeah. So again, something that you don't see every day. Yeah. And it's it's funny because a lot of people that come into the store, they're like, oh, the store's great, but it's also it's like a museum. Oh, special. Special. <laughs> no way. Check that out. Look at that. So that's kind of some of the things that I actually collect myself. A lot of the older paper goods and stuff. Yeah. Um, we get to deal with the, the toys all the time. But like the, the paper goods and stuff like that, they don't ever actually really walk through a lot of the stores that, that people go and shop at. You know, most people are looking for... You know, they want the loose figures or the carded figures or whatever, but it's it's the paper goods that really didn't last. Yeah. Um, that a lot of people didn't hold on to. So when they come through, I try and make sure that we we capture them and put them out because there's a lot of guys that do collect those things like myself. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a, a niche market, but finding the actual advertisement for the holiday special is is classic. I mean, it's just it's <laughs> awesome. So this came from the TV guide. So it came from the newspaper. The newspaper. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was advertising for it. That's so cool. Yeah. Did you like it when it came out? I, 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 no. <laughs> uh, it, it was. It Have was kind of awkward. It? <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's it's almost comical now. Okay. Uh, uh, a buddy of mine took it and uh, did some some re-editing and made some clips from it and stuff and kind of made it into a parody deal and yeah. it's, it's it's pretty funny it, and i love sharing you know stuff like that like i said um the the paper goods even like the the decorations for like birthday parties and stuff yeah, like yeah. that all the merch, yeah awesome. all, all the different merch is uh i guess in a sense it's 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 kind of like a a steve Sansweet kind of thing because I mean he does the exact same thing anything and everything that was ever made He tries to collect at least one of oh, yeah, Rob. Thank, thank you so much for Absolutely, taking us guys. across this galaxy. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, appreciate you coming this, out man. This, this was amazing. Um, where can the people find you? What's the address? 3613 uh, West Vickery Boulevard. Uh, we're open from 11 to 8 seven days a week. Yeah, and there's maybe a couple more stores that are gonna pop up in the next couple months. Absolutely, absolutely. We also have one down in Austin as well.
at 9828 Great Hills Trail. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank Guys, you. Guys, thanks for watching. You know, all the yada yada. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and everything. Let me know what your favorite Star Wars character is, and we will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much, Narky, yeah. for, for, for helping out, buddy. Yeah. What, what do can, you think? Can, what, what, what do you think? I can feel my arms what do now. You think? <laughs> <laughs> no, fantastic story. Um, yeah, it's like Rob said, it's like walking through a museum, like seeing pieces that I've never seen up close before. So you guys definitely need to check it out if you're in the area. Or if not, hop on a plane, a bus, a boat. Come check it out. Yeah. Make sure you got the right passport. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for some OSW uh, action. Oh yeah, yeah. some SW. Oh yeah. Oh just, yeah. Just oh, leave yeah. the AC in the car. Well, they, 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 they got some robots in there, probably. But they're Star Wars. Star Wars yeah. bits. <laughs> they're, pro they're probably droids. They're droids, okay. And they're well, probably I mean, not the ones we're looking just for. Just try to look happy for the camera and we'll get through this, okay? Yeah, you can get an ice cream later. Oh. oh.